think the value of this group is to bring um, a group of uh, people com of people committed with financial inclusion in order to create and to develop uh, smart policies and smart regulation in order to 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 uh, foster uh, the provision of mobile financial services in order to reach a higher degree of financial inclusion around the globe. I think um, more than co-chair, I can say that, that we are um, this is a network of regulators and, and policymakers, and, and it's, it's important uh, to uh, coordinate different, different activities within the group in order to, 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 to get efficiency in the, in the results that we want to, to achieve. Then, uh, more than, than leading the group, I think uh, I, I, I help the group to coordinate different activities. And I think it's important uh, to, to uh, develop interesting uh, uh, products, uh, notes, guidelines in order to provide other members of, of AFI with uh, information and, and, uh, and uh, with information to, to, to develop their own regulatory frameworks in terms of mobile financial services. This, this is the third uh, meeting that we are having in, in this uh, working group on mobile financial services. The first one was more like a, a, like a seminar where, where all the participants were uh, learning many things, where many uh, external experts uh, came uh, to teach us different, uh, 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 different approaches of how to regulate mobile financial services. The second meeting was more about uh, logistics, about uh, uh, election of the steering committee for, for this group. And this third meeting is it's the first one where, where I feel that everybody is committed in, 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 in participating and in developing interesting uh, products uh, to, to deliver soon and, 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 and to and to provide uh, others with uh, enough information to to improve their uh, regulatory frameworks. I think uh, this as a network of regulators and policy makers, uh, in, during this meeting I, I could see the, the, the commitment of, of all the members of the group in uh, fostering financial inclusion. Yeah, uh, in Mexico, I think we, we have developed an interesting regulatory framework, flexible, that, that is uh, bank-based, but even being bank-based, the, uh, the different uh, business models that can be developed within the country can be uh, bank-led or non-bank-led. It's, it's a, a, a regulation risk-based uh, and proportionate uh, to, to allow uh, different private players to, um, to, to, to develop business models with different technologies and, 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 and with different parameters to provide financial services. And, and we think that, that will be a reality soon. Now all uh, companies, uh, telco companies and banks are working in order to develop these products that will be uh, launched in the following months. And, and we think the regulatory framework will allow to, to have a profitable business models, uh, uh, easy to expand business model, and, and that will help us to uh, increase the level of financial inclusion that we we are uh, that we have in, in Mexico.